Hey, what's poppin', people? It's Doc Beasley for season. You watching Star TV. I'm going to get back at you on the, um, the Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump um, um, soiree that was going on the other day. Uh, first thing I want to say is uh, what they're talking about on the news right now is basically how uh, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton was going back and forth with each other. They're not talking about none of the views that was asked by Lester, the moderator. They're not speaking on none of that. They touched on some of them, but the one that they didn't touch on is what they're going to do about cops killing niggas. That was not brought up at all whatsoever. Not at all, right? So uh, I just want to uh, make a point real quick. When these people, when when you when you get a job, like say you going to going for a job, any job there's there's an um an interview, an interview to tell if you're worth having that job. So like say like um you know a multi million dollar company that you're e- even if you work there, when you're making a presentation for an idea. That you think is going to, you know, bring millions of dollars to the company. What you have to do is they send you. You go to school to learn how to make um, graphs uh, to show, you know, the numbers. You, you have to do. You have to learn marketing. You have to learn some some form of accounting. Uh, you have to know uh, some form of computer programs, Word, Excel. Uh, there's a couple more I just can't think of right off the top of my head right now. But um, you have to know these things so that when you make your uh, presentations, they're deliberate and people can see what you're saying and they can tell if they want to move forward or if they're just going to say, no, we're not feeling that, right? So if this presidential race is so important and these people actually supposed to have all this power and we supposedly have the power to put them in office then how come they don't do that when they're proposing any of these views about some of the things that they're saying that they're going to do I didn't see that in the debate I don't see that on any debate but I didn't see that on this debate I didn't see it at all all I seen was a bunch of rhetoric of, uh, you know, going back and forth, slaying each other. You know, um, the boy, the boy Trump, he's not a real politician. He's a swindler. He's a he's a a, a, a status quo racist man. Um, he speaks his mind, you know, and um. Here you have you have Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is a bona fide politician, so she know what to say, want to say it. You know what I mean. And another aspect I wanted to bring out was um I, I lost focus. I was getting to a point, but another focus I wanted to bring out was that these people are actors. If there's anything that Ronald Reagan showed us as president, is that you have to know how to act. Any time that an actor is chief of state or chief chief head head commander in chief. Anytime you have an actor that's head commander in chief, they gotta let you know that this presidential race type shit is fraudulent. You gotta see that. You gotta see it. Like you can't be you can't be that blind. You just can't. So Um, Another thing I wanted to do was go into uh, my my only fan, my brother from another, Bucky Johnson. He says, uh, tell him, Apollo, you won't get many responses on this one. Hillary is the hiding, Hillary is the hiding racist, more racist than Donald. Now, I'm feeling him on this one. I was watching Hillary uh, this morning 
on the news and they showed her hugging this black lady. The black lady all happy. Oh, it's Hillary. And Hillary like, ah, uh, hurry up. Hurry up and get off of me. You know what I mean? Like, what makes her less racist than uh, Donald Trump? She from, I don't know where she from. I know her husband from Arkansas. But she's from out, and um, she's she's not from Philly, she's not from Detroit, she's not from New York City, she's not from uh, uh, Chicago, she's not from the inner city. You know what I'm saying? So what would make her less racist than this dude? If anything, she would be more racist. She's just more incandescent, meaning that she knows how to hide it. She knows. She knows how to how to how to keep it hidden and not show you, which brings me to, which makes me allude to something that I said to you before about what Malcolm X says. First of all, a politician ain't nothing but a wolf in sheep's clothing, right? So, what the government does is they show you the wolf. To chase you to the fox. In this case, Donald Trump is the wolf. Hillary Clinton is the slick fox. That's what she, that's what they chasing you to. Where Donald Trump was, uh, you know, he just come around and say, "Oh, we gotta police these niggas. We gotta we we gotta take the guns from them and and get more cops on the street and stop and frisk these niggas because." This shit is getting out of hand. No one said nothing about um, policing the cops. No one said nothing about um, um, holding the count cops accountable. Uh, stronger laws against cops that's killing niggas for no reason, out of context. No one, no one's saying uh, you know they, they'll be given jail time or they'll be suspended without pay or or, or none of this shit. They ain't, ain't, ain't no, but but. All right, back to Donald Trump. Oh, we got to kill these niggas. We, we, we got to stop and frisk these niggas. And then, do you got the Fox, Hillary Clinton, talking about some oh, guiding, guiding, watch this. Oh, you know, it's messed up how the laws is, 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 is not equal, you know, in this land. And the brothers don't get the same opportunities. The brothers and the sisters don't get the same opportunities as the white man. Like, she's coming off as if she's compelling. However, if you didn't peep game, she didn't come up with a chart. Like, I'm telling you how it happens in the workplace. Like, if you're a, if you're a, 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 a business manager in a $100 million, $100 million uh, a firm or, or corporation, you have to have that chart. Or, 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 you know what I mean, show in your computer, in your APA sketch or whatever, showing what moves that you're going to make. They don't do that. You know what I mean? And she didn't do that regarding that issue. But um, that's, that's, that's uh, what I'm going to say about that, John. Bucky again. Bucky, like my only supporter. Um, Bucky says, people don't really want freedom. They just want daddy to take care of them. So they won't have to fight for their own battles. This is true. No one likes. No one likes fighting their own battles. Um, most people don't like confrontation. So, you know, they take a blind eye, or they, uh, you know, they 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 passive. They 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 passive to a fault with with everything. You know what I mean, like. For instance, we rather just pay income taxes, even though that we know that taxes is uh is is fraudulent. Is not there's no laws that say that you can that you have to pay income taxes. However, they bring the cops to your door to take everything from you. Notice they bring the cops to your door. If they have the right to take everything that you own from you. What did they? What do they need cops for? They can come themselves. They they can have their own federal people come to the door and take your shit. But they don't. They get the local police person to come take your shit. They don't. They get 
the the uh, tow truck in there. They get third party people to take your shit, and we do it without a fight because we don't want to fight. This is the reason why we got uh, driver's licenses. Driver's licenses is not um is it, not um um. It's not in the amendments for you to have a driver's license. All you need to have, all you, only thing you need to have in order to drive is a car. That's all you need. If you're conducting business, if you're conducting business, then that's a different issue. If you're conducting business on a road, then um, you need a license. But if you're just, you know, driving, driving is a right. It is not a privilege. So... That's what I want to say to um, Bucky on that, John. I'm sure he's going to have something to say about that. He always gives all kinds of hot... I I, um, I, I share all his links. He sends all kinds of hot links um, regarding issues that pertain to us as a people. Not just black people, but all people. Um, Bucky also goes on to say, The ruling class will never give the slaves the vote to change anything that's why they make it such that's why they make it such a joke on us when they say you have a say in your government they only say we have they only say we have in government the only say we have in government is to not partake in their fraud and to take back power from the elite and create our own form of government um i read that and I was stuck. I like for you to elaborate on that. Um, give me some, you know, ideas of, you know, what I mean, how could we go about forming our own government within a government? I mean, the Chinese do it, the Spanish do it. Seems like everybody else do it, but we don't. Um, um, maybe we um could get um the poor, the 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 regular the regular white men. The regular white men and 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 the, and the brothers get together and they put their heads together if they can get past the uh, divide and conquer mentality that the status quo placed among them, among us. Uh, Bucky also goes on to say, "I didn't watch the debate. It is only for shits and giggles, really, and I was already shitty and giggling." But the sleepy Americans must wake up today. That's true. Because these two clowns may be the last two clowns you'll ever see in office. Hillary is dead set on taking taking the guns. And Trump is dead set on ethnic cleansing, which will lead to taking away of the guns. Either way, it is gloom and doom for the masses of America. If we don't stand up, get all your guns before they say no. Stand up as a unit against the police. And if you have any police officers in your family and they ain't saying anything about this purge, then go at them first and shun them to the utmost. If the layman police won't stand up for this for the wrongs they are being trained to do, then the people must put pressure on them. The politicians are status quo, so the people must make the change, force the change. We got we we is is only us that could change we only only we can change shit there's no way in the world like i don't understand how y'all fell for the barack obama john uh we're going for a change i'm 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 going to change shit only way you could change shit is if you change their laws you know what i mean if you change you and in order in order to put an extra closet in the house you gotta change some shit you gotta change the blueprint you understand what I'm saying only way only way you can drive in your car once the tire get flat is change the tire you, you, you gotta take out in order to put in you know what I mean I'm 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 I'm